Hello, Serge here for the Backyard Driving Range. Today I want to talk about something I've been seeing in a lot of lessons and especially at a lot of golf schools because we've been getting a lot of senior golfers at the golf schools and this is prevalent with ladies and could be could be any age but I see it an awful lot in, in, in seniors and as I said with ladies. And I guess I'm just going to start off by saying I want to talk about kind of like getting some zip in your swing so you can rip it and getting more energy to hit the ball. and what I'm seeing is is these kind of mono speed swings and it and golfers are just standing here and it just it's just smooth and slow and 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 steady and that's some of the words I hear I say tell me what you're trying to do and they say well I'm trying to keep a nice smooth slow steady steady pace and sometimes they've thrown the word slow in and if they haven't turned the word in the word slow in there they they've used at least steady smooth I'm trying to hit the ball solid uh, but that steady pace is, is, is what scares me because that's not really what a golf swing is supposed to be if you're trying to, if you're trying to hit a ball solid and maximize distance and get the most for your swing. Let's, let's just discuss the concept of impact. As we know, we've said it, from a putter to a driver, physics states that if you want to hit a ball, four things has to happen. If you want to hit a golf ball correctly and, and with maximum results. The club has to approach the ball on the aiming line, strike it on the line, and be square to it leave on the line accelerating. I'll say that again, leave on the line accelerating. That means speeding up. Just like if, you, and then hit it solid or in the sweet spot while doing the first three. I call that on, 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 square and solid. I want you to think of swinging a golf club as no different than if you're driving your car on a level, on, 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 on a level road and all of a sudden you're coming up to one heck of a big hill and you want to keep the same speed you're going on that level road when you go up that hill. What do you have to do? You have to step on the gas pedal so you can accelerate the engine, make the engine work uh, go uh, work harder so that you can keep going up that hill the same pace or greater if you want. But the point is, is, is a golf swing, if you're trying to swing at a steady pace, or as I've heard people say, I'm trying to have solid impact. You can't, I, I don't think you can effectively try to have solid impact. All you can do is, is swing the club as best you can and, and, and with a good setup make a good swing and if all those things fall in line you should hit the ball relatively solid if you're on 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 square solid you will hit a good shot and needs to be accelerating and I, so one of the things I say to folks is I just say well here just take your golf club flip your club over put the grip down the other end no matter what club you have and swing it you should if I'm staying a, a steady pace there's very little there's very little and I'm trying to keep it steady, I always hear a little bit, I always hear a little, little swoosh back here. Well, where's the swoosh supposed to be? The swoosh, the swish, whatever you want to call it, the whip, the snap, it should be right at, just about right at impact. One fraction of a second before where it's accelerating through impact. And you, and you have to do that. But if you try to make steady swings, you're going to hear your high, you're going to hear your loudest swish, which will still be rather not that loud, will be back here someplace. So that means that's pretty far from the ball. You, you've had your biggest burst of speed way before impact, which means from that point to there, if it's still not swishing, you're losing club head speed. And therefore, you're not going to have a, a, a hit that could be anywhere near what you could in distance if you would have had that, that, that maximum speed at that split second before and after impact. So I think I think many cases, uh, A, we got, we got some misconceptions about how to swing a golf club for acceleration and and that it has to be accelerating and that we just got to swing it. We got to hit it. I mean, you're playing baseball. You just stand there and you see that ball coming and depending on, depending on if, you're just, if you're trying to hit a single, just through the gap or something, and uh, you still got to make a good aggressive swing. And if you're going for a home run, it's going to be even a, a more powerful swing that, that, and, and, and you're, you, you, you're stepping into it, so to speak, as our bump, and, and you're going after a little bit more gusto. But there's always got to be gusto. There's got to be some. There's got to be some zip in your swinging of your arms. And remember, it's your arms that's swinging the club here. We have let, we have minimal body, more arms. We're the green energy swing. We're the we're the swing that 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 has less turn. We hold our body more steady, so we can swing our arms faster. The rock on the end of a string. We're create. We're swinging with centrifugal force, and the max centrifugal force is maxim, centrifugal force is maximized when you're swinging up and down vertical to the ground. So that's why the limited turn three-quarter swing. So when I come up here, I get it and the club's going faster. Now, again, I'm just going to take two normal swings. I'm going to do the first one. This first swing 
will basically be a normal 7-iron for me, like I was trying to hit it 155 to 160, which is usually my normal 7-iron. I'm going to get in a really good setup, and I'm going to energize. My mind knows what my full swing is. Full swing meaning full speed. It's going to be three quarters through to the finish. Just watch the speed. I'm going to do this in real time and just watch the speed. And I think you can definitely see that there was definitely acceleration from, you could see that whatever speed came up here, once I got about here, it accelerated to the finish. And I tried to maintain that acceleration to the finish. Now I'm going to give, I'm going to do a, a what you'd call, I guess we'd say the, the uh, lack of a zip swing. It's going to be more of a, a mono-paced, steady, steady swing, steady pace, smooth swing, trying to make impact. And it might look good, but I think you're going to see, even with the naked eye on this video, that this swing is way much slower than the other one. All right, so I'm going to get in here, and I'm going to just kind of put the club on the ball. Now it's really little. I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit more. But I've actually felt, the way I just felt, I th I've seen a number of players swinging like that. And, and basically, I guess we could say in many cases, they got trouble hitting out of their shadow. Even, at, even when it's 6 o'clock in the afternoon. All right? So I'm going to speed it up a little bit more. But I, I think you could say that was nowhere near, nowhere near my full swing. All right? Let's see if I can't do that one one more time. All right? Now here comes the real me for a 7-iron, trying to hit it 155 to 160. And you notice that the recoil relaxes even more more fast because why it has to be to to manage what speed I had through in here if I don't recall fast enough with enough speed it could if I, I hang around too long up there I could lose my balance backwards so for every action is equal and opposite reaction which means the speed going through through impact has to have a more speedy recall to, to maintain balance and get me back to the T finish so I think we have to energize we have to have our muscles engaged and energized and we got to think about some zip now everything again is within your power limits, but you just can't stand here and kind of, so to speak, sleep swing or mono speed swing and, and, and just try to keep it smooth. Yeah, we want a smooth swing, but it's got to be smooth, it's got to be aggressive, and it has to be accelerating. That's the key to hitting a ball more solid and straight and farther, which most of us want. But it's always going to be within our, our limits of power and, and balance, okay? So let's try to put, for all of us uh, that were probably thinking too much about trying to hit it solid and, and keep that nice steady pace, let's bring some zip into the swing, okay? And uh, I think you'll find that uh, when you got zip in the swing at impact, you're going to see more zip in your ball leaving the club, zipping down the fairway a lot farther, okay? Well, that's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking to you all soon.